Welcome back everybody, Mudford here. Today we're out in the shop working on a cylinder head and we're going to get some free horsepower. Yes, that's right, free horsepower. It's going to cost you a little bit of time though. What I'm doing today is porting my cylinder heads. afraid to do this and maybe send it out and spend a bunch of money to get it done but I'm just going to show you the basic easy way to do it yourself uh, I'm sure people that um, flow test them can get a lot more horsepower but this video isn't for those people this video is for do-it-yourselfers who might be rebuilding their engine um, slapping some rings in it maybe freshening it up new pistons cam and this is just an easy way to give you a few extra horsepower that's really not going to cost you anything if you have an air compressor, uh, an air grinder, and just some simple tools like that. So the first thing I did, so I went ahead and disassembled them first. We're going to do all of our grinding and then we're going to clean it all up before we put the valves back in. I've sat this gasket on and determined right where it wants to set on here. That's why I didn't clean up around some of the holes here on the ends. I sat it right where, where it's going to ride at. And I took a paint pen and marked all the metal that was sticking out of the gaskets. And then when you take the gasket off, you can grind right up to that and stop and go smooth right around there and then taper it in. I'm just using a bit like this. It seems to work pretty good for me. I can bring it up and out to get the corners good. And then I can go in deeper and taper it in. Now you can go much more aggressive if you'd like to and open it up more. But I'm just opening it up that far and it's going to make it breathe a little bit better but it's not going to be a ton better. You've got a little bit of room to work with so as long as you don't get too aggressive, you should be all right. You don't want to take too much off and bust through. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. And I'll leave it zoomed in. And hopefully you can uh, watch. just did. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, but there's no more yellow. You can see there's yellow all around here. I got all my yellow gone and I've tapered it back in. And then what I did was I just kept checking it with the gasket, putting the gasket right where it's supposed to be. And you can probably see, it's kind of hard to tell perspective here, but oops a little crooked. It's right smooth with the gasket all the way around. So that's going to help us out with the airflow. Should make it a little better, give it a couple more horsepower. The best way to line your gasket up too that I've found, if I can get this to turn, 
is right here on the outside there's a nice oval and you can get that lined up fairly easily you can see the line on it so that's where that gasket sat before so I got quite a bit of grinding to do on this one to make it smooth and we'll have this side done then I already have these two done I just finished the third one here so I got one more intake to do and then I'm going to do the exhaust side a little bit too same thing to match the gasket and then the other head is already mounted so yeah we'll be getting that much closer to going So that's what it looks like when we mark the exhaust side. We're just going to do the same thing we did on the intake side. Just going to take some time and patience. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll bring you back when it's done. I just did the same thing on the intake. This is a aluminum Edelbrock intake. Just line the gasket up on there and use the paint pen on all the ports. And we're just going to use, um, this is aluminum, so we're just going to use the flapper wheel, sandpaper type wheel. And make it look just the same. Okay, let's bring the camera in and look at the intake ports now. You can see they're much bigger. I've only got half of it done. But I want to go ahead and wrap up this video. This really shows bigger they are. This is the side that hasn't been done. This side has been done. You can see this is going to flow a lot more air and hopefully give us quite a bit more horsepower. Here's a little bonus for you. I've had these valve covers on a few different engines. They came with them. I really like them. They're a nice aluminum cover. I've seen some people run them bare aluminum. And I just don't like that. And then some people paint them up. But I'm not really a fan of that either. So this is what I've done. I paint them. I usually put them in a bead blaster. And take them right down to the aluminum. And you can paint them whatever color you want. I usually, this is a Ford blue engine paint. And I'll put that on. And put a couple of good coats on. And I'll take my die grinder. And I'll put this on with a hopefully a cleaner pad than that one of the red ones and I'll buzz over it and take all the paint off the top like that and it just looks a lot nicer and then I'll finish it up by hand sanding it a little bit with some uh, finer grit paper just to clean it up and I think that is a really good look on it it just really looks nice in my opinion